Taurus, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do your love reading. Everything you need to know is in the description box. Um, I want to say I'm not doing any personal readings uh, for the rest of the year, just things are a little bit too busy here. I will consider um, emergency readings, uh, so my email is in the description box, okay, if you really are in need of emergency reading. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, also, I do a monthly giveaway. Um, I do give away uh, prizes each month. Uh, so uh, since I'm not doing personal readings right now, uh, except for emergency readings, uh, we will be doing cash prizes and uh, probably uh, some other prizes, which I did for November and December. So if you are a part of that, uh, I got a lot of good feedback. It was a lot of fun. <clears throat> so let's get started with your reading. I don't think there's anything else we need to cover. I hope everyone's doing well, staying healthy and safe. <clears throat> I just pulled two cards here uh, from the, uh, what do we got here? The Energy Oracle cards. I don't know why I'm shuffling. I already did pre-shuffle. <laughs> so let's get uh, two cards here. This is from the Island Wellness cards. Or Taurus. Okay, let's see what we have for Taurus. <clears throat> oh, wow, this is beautiful energy here. Okay, so you have, uh, let's start off here where you have the Angel of Love number 49, which is 13, which is 4. This card for me is your angels telling you that they are surrounding you at this time. They are helping you when it comes to love. Now, whether that is love for you, for your self-love, or whether that is in a particular situation, a love relationship situation here. But they are protecting you, and I feel here they are sending you loving thoughts Okay, and warmth. I'm feeling warmth here too, because you also have the sun, but we'll, we'll go over that in a minute here. But I feel that they want you to know um, that if you've been feeling unstable when it comes to love or just uh, your self-love here, they want you to know that they are guiding you and they are protecting you at this time. You have the sun card. So this is beautiful energy, okay? So this to me, the sun card is the yes card. So if you've been wanting love to come your way, whether it's new love or whether it's rekindled love or someone you're, you know, you're seeing here, this is a very happy card. This is peace, joy, happiness, bathing in the sun and warmth. I feel a lot of warmth. Uh, you know, cozy warmth here. So this is a yes card for me. So I feel like love is on the way. If you have not felt loved um, or you're not feeling love inside, I feel here your angels are sending you love and warmth and guiding you at this time. <clears throat> so you also have uh, the Grim Re Reaper. Okay, so I feel this is a situation where you may have had some sort of ending with somebody in your life when it came to love. And I feel the energy may have helped uh, you grow and transform your life, okay, with this Grim Re Reaper here. And like I said, I feel how your angels are guiding you at this time. So whether, you know, you're wanting to be with this person or you're wanting new love, now you have a number one card here, so I feel... There could potentially be new love coming in for you <clears throat> or it can just signify a new beginning of you transforming through this situation. Now you have the dragonfly. Okay, this is about being lighthearted, uh, things coming to, a li uh, to light, um, adaptation, change, and healing. Okay, so I feel through this situation, whatever happened with this ending here, uh, I feel that there is a sense here that this has really made you transform. It can also be um, a situation is transforming between you and another person. But let's pull some tarot. And I already shuffled. I keep shuffling, but let's uh, start here. So we're going to pull three cards uh, for the overall energy for uh, you and your person. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What's the overall energy for Taurus and their person? Oh, we got two cards there. And let's get one more. 
Okay, let's get two cards uh, for Taurus's energy. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm getting excited for you, Taurus. Let's get two cards for Taurus's person's energy. Okay. I feel like there's there's potentially two people, so I'm going to pull, um, I feel like for some of you are dealing with a past person or someone already in your life, but I also feel new love, so I'm going to pull two cards for new love as well, um, because I'm seeing that energy. Let's get one more card. Okay, yeah. Okay, bottom of the deck here, you have the Four of Cups. So give me just a moment here, Taurus. Let me hone in on the energy. Then I'll call out the signs for those of you who like to hear the signs. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, definitely see uh, two loves here. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like for some of you, you may be healing uh, from a past situation, whether you're wanting to be with that person or not. So let me call out the signs here uh, before we get started. We have uh, strong Gemini, we have Capricorn, your energy, Taurus, and Virgo. We have uh, strong Leo energy, we have Aries and Sag, and we have uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. So I see here, you know, you have the Four of Cups. Right. This is somebody here who's reluctant to receive any offers, can be somebody who is stubborn. I feel like this is somebody that you were dealing with in the past where I see there was a, a situation or a relationship that, that ended here. I feel that the person that you were dealing with, they may have felt that they had other options. Okay. Now, if you are the one who's reluctant to receive any love offers, I feel uh, you, know, you may have felt you had other options, but I feel like this is your person. And look at this, you also have here uh, the Three of Swords. All right, so shows me here there definitely was some sort of hurt, some loss, uh, something was painful. But as I said, I do feel here you're transforming, you're going through some sort of healing. Um, I do feel here you have uh, your angels on your side. Now, uh, the overall energy with the Lover's card, I see this... Uh, you know, with your other cards, you have the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. I feel here potentially, um, if you don't have anybody or you're not wanting to reconcile with someone, I do feel here there was somebody new coming in. And look, here you have your, your angel of love here, all right? I feel uh, your angel of love is guiding someone towards you. This is somebody who is going to take the time to get to know you somebody um, who is very practical, somebody who's going to, uh, as I said, take the time to be with you, get to know you. They, they will take things slowly. Uh, this is somebody who's not in a rush, but that's a good thing. Okay, That means that this is somebody who's not going to be fly-by-night uh, type of person, somebody who's not just in it for the intimacy. This is somebody who's ready for a relationship. Now, if you have a past person, and um, there is a possibility that you want to uh, rekindle things with somebody. I do feel here, there are two people here, okay? There's a page and a knight. And I feel, you know, things are at a standstill with this person from the past, and I feel there's a new person coming in. But I'm also getting here that you are going to receive some sort of message uh, from this person that you were dealing with in the past. And if it is not a past person, it's a new person for you. There is a message coming soon. This person is going to reach out to you soon and let you know uh, that they are interested. Now, for your energy, this is just beautiful. You have the Empress. Okay, we'll start with the Empress. This tells me here, you know, as I said, you are transforming. I feel your energy is changing. You're going uh, through healing. Okay, you may be feeling, uh, I don't know why I'm hearing warm and fuzzy at this time, but I feel there is a sense uh, that if you're not feeling it, you are going to start feeling it. This angel of love here is really um, sending, I feel, loving vibrations. 
Okay, and I feel your vibration is also uh, changing here and transforming to something very beautiful. You may, uh, you know, you may be a mother spending or father spending time with their children. You also have here the sun card. There is potentially, you know, you could be pregnant at this time. That's not going to be for all of you. But again, you have the sun card twice. I feel like this is an indication that you are going to be very happy. You're going to have peace and love in your life. And it's going to be very different than what you have experienced in the past. Now, the past person's energy, okay, uh, you have the Nine of Swords and the King of Wands. I feel your person, uh, your person is worried for some reason. They have anxiety. Um, you know, there is some sort of stress or something going on with them, probably because, uh, you know, there was something here that happened. They weren't, uh, they were reluctant to receive any love offers in the past. So this person is having a hard time taking any action to move forward. Now, the new person I see, I do see here, there is somebody coming in who's very attractive, somebody who's very passionate. I do feel here this is going to happen very quickly here. I do feel here this person is somebody stable, as I saw up here, even though the knight can be inconsistent, but with this nine of pentacles, I do not feel that is an indication uh, that they are inconsistent. I feel it's uh, the opposite here. They're, this is just a sense here that they are coming in very quickly here. So I want to pull um, two cards for your past person's thoughts, feelings, or upcoming actions. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What is Taurus's pers past person's thoughts, feelings, or upcoming actions? So we have the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, okay. Your person very, may very well uh, come back with an offer of commitment, which is going to make things very interesting because I do see here a new person coming in. Yeah, your person, I feel here, is going to offer some sort of commitment, maybe even marriage here, okay? But they're, I feel like they're having anxiety about it or they're worried about it. And it may be that they're just worried whether you're going to accept their offer or not. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's get two cards for the new person for Taurus. What is their thoughts, feelings, or upcoming actions? Let's get two cards, please. Let's get two cards. I feel like this person like knows they've messed up, and that's why they're so worried here. Oh, interesting. Okay. Interesting. Let's get one more card. Okay, I feel this new person that's coming in for you. Look at this. Eight of Wands is on the bottom of the deck. So definitely, is there somebody new coming in here? This is uh, fast, uh, you know, loving energy, Cupid's arrow type of energy here. I feel like your person, recent, the new person recently went through some sort of breakup, um, you know, uh, in the past here. Uh, I do sense that um, they're, they've gone through their healing here that it may be it may be a Pisces as well but I feel that this person this person is very caring they may even be sensitive here uh, but I do see here they're they're ready here okay so this is somebody who doesn't have a hard time expressing how they feel is what I'm getting but I do feel here this new person coming in I do sense that this person uh, just recently went through some sort of breakup, okay? But I feel like they've gone through their healing, okay? Because they're coming across as somebody very stable, all right? Somebody who does well for themselves, who can take care of themselves, somebody who's a re reliable and accountable. But you may receive some sort of flirt or, you know, flirty message from this new person coming in. So let's get the possible outcome here. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What's the possible <laughs> outcome for Taurus and their person? Let's get two more cards. What's the possible outcome for Taurus and their person, whether this is the uh, past person or the new person? Wow. Very on point here. 
Okay, you have the justice. <laughs> Could be dealing with the Libra, but I feel like this is your justice here because you are the one I feel here who's going to be in control. You are the one here that has a choice, okay? If you're dealing with a past person, you have the two of swords. Yeah, I feel like you're going to have a hard time here trying to make some sort of decision, okay? So you may kind of uh, kind of hold back and see what happens. In the situation before you make any uh, decisions you may need more clarity and then look you have the three of wands which tells me here that you're really uh, looking at your options here what's the best choice for you in the situation thinking about your future and then look we have the queen of wands so i feel taurus this is you having to take some sort of action to make a choice in the situation is I do see somebody new coming in for you. And, you know, it's going to be your decision if you're still going to deal with this past person or this new person. Uh, so very interesting there, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Again, if you want to enter the giveaway, details are below. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.